Hey guys, welcome back to another stencil tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I want to look at how to import backgrounds into your stencil game today. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first demonstrate uh, and insert a background. So if you click on here and I'm going to create a new background. And I've downloaded an image from uh, Google with the uh, filter options for reuse. And I've got an image of some rocks and uh, an ocean, I guess. So let's add this in. And I'm going to point out that this image is actually very, very big. So if we uh, look here, uh, we can actually see that our image is 1920 by 726 pixels wide. Now we're going to see there is going to be a big issue if we try to import this image into our background scene. So, um, you know, suppose we want to have a background in this uh, menu select scene. So we want to have a background image here. So let's add that here and see what happens first. Right, so as we can see here, we only see uh, a mountain. We don't see the entire image as, uh, as it's shown here. Right, this is the whole image, and all we see is a small portion right here. So what's causing that? Uh, the problem right now is that the image and the size of our game don't match. So if we go over here under Settings, and we go under Display, uh, it says that our screen size is only 640 pixels by 480 pixels wide. And you will recall that the image is of a uh, different size altogether. All right, so that's 1920 by 726 pixels. Okay, so there's a mismatch in our, uh, our set of numbers here. And that's mainly what's causing the, uh, the issue is it's trying to put a huge image into a very small size. So what we're going to need to do is I've got my image ready to go here in Pixlr, uh, an image editor, and I'm going to reduce the size, uh, and it may not look very nice. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to change this to 640 pixels, and the height is 242 pixels. Now this is going to uh, put this out of whack. So I'm going to uncheck constraint proportions, and I'm going to have the height to be 480 pixels. So this is going to stretch my image uh, vertically. Okay, that's still not too bad, right? It is a little bit stretched, um, and for the purpose of this tutorial, it's good enough for now. So I'm going to save this as uh, rock small. Okay, to that rock small .jpg. And I'm going to re-import this image in stencil one more time. So I'm going to call this fantasy small. I'll call it rock small. Let's have a match name. Great. And I'm going to add to the frame my image, which is rock small. Add that. And uh, I'm going to attach this to the scene now. Now, the, because we already had a background objection, let me clear up the background image here first. Uh, let's delete this. Okay. And if we go over here, let's attach this one to the scene rock small to menu select. And uh, currently, it's just covering up the uh, other two things. So I'm going to move this down. And there you have it. So now the image is properly displayed because the size of the image matches exactly with, okay, let's open this up first, 640 by 480 pixels. And if we look at rocksmall.jpg, uh, let's get info. So if we look at this together, go down to more info. Right, so we can see that these numbers now perfectly match, okay? And that's how you can get uh, a background that will fit perfectly into your uh, your game. Uh, one more thing I want to note, in uh, when you do a Google search for images, you can filter it by a particular size. So um, when you're under images here, 
Uh, let's do a search for rocks, I guess. And uh, suppose we want to use rocks as our background image. So uh, if you go under tools, yep, you can set the size to be of a particular size, so exactly. Uh, but you can see that there is uh, an option here for this particular size, 640 by 480. So it will find images that will fit perfectly to your uh, your your canvas size, your background. And also make sure you use a label for reuse or reuse with modification. And that way you don't get into uh, legal troubles. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time.